the exclusive podcast we are doing at Intex Forming 2024 Minds of Metal Forming. And it is my pleasure to welcome Pradeep Patil, the managing director of Trump in India, in this podcast. Thank you. Sir, it is now more than 100 years yep. Trump is uh, serving the global manufacturing. Actually, last 17 years, uh, you are here in India as a 100% subsidiary, but much before uh, Trump machines are already in India serving the industry. So, at one point of time, it was like laser means Trump. Yeah. But the industry have transformed over last two decades. So, how do you see the shift in uh, metal forming, the laser uh, solutions, uh, laser industry in India? Okay. Now, first of all, let me just correct. We are here uh, since 2006. Uh, as a subsidiary yeah? uh, and that was started in Pune and afterwards uh, we had a uh, lot of expansion uh, programs and that was basically support infrastructure. In 2000, uh, 2019 uh, uh, we had uh, come out with training center and uh, uh, spare parts center in Bangalore and in 2020 uh, the same model was replicated also in Delhi. You know, in a recent announcement, not only manufacturing in Pune, uh, but also we will have showroom in Bangalore yeah, uh, to, to support customers. So our approach always has been, uh, you know, closer to customers. Uh, and to talk about uh, innovation, it's been 100 plus years for Trump, uh, but innovation has always been our DNA, which customers have witnessed in every product uh, we have in the market. A decade back, the industry, sheet metal industry, uh, was at a nascent stage. Uh, but today, I see uh, 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 the phenomenal growth, at least in the last couple of years. If I have to talk about very specific last five years, uh, it has grown in multiple in the next seven years. So, India is growing. There is yeah. evidence, uh, in, as you told, yep. that we are seeing. Uh, one of the biggest challenges what we are facing is how to deliver on time. Like that is every manufacturer's problem is delivering time is the uh, important issue. So, how do you see this this new narrative of making India happen over yeah. these five years? Yeah. What do you think that what what triggered? Well, uh, this is basically a strategic uh, investment. Uh, this is not because of investigation uh, which had started a year back. Uh, but this is a long-term plan uh, to mitigate the risk and risk is basically geopolitical risk, you know. Uh, as Mr. Cupers also said uh, during press conference, uh, we always wanted to have uh, the second home, yeah. Uh, so currently we have uh, plans across Europe, Americas and also uh, in China. Uh, but this is the expansion of manufacturing footprint beyond these plants. Uh, but this plant uh, will not only serve Indian market, uh, but also we have the plan to export out of India. Uh, Indian manufacturing facility uh, also will serve, it's basically a, a very good supplier market. Yeah? Uh, so we are also currently uh, evaluating, can we supply the parts? to other part of the world, okay. yeah, other manufacturing facilities. Because, uh, see, machine tool industry is not something new for India. Uh, so we leave aside the laser or uh, uh, milling or turning, uh, but the core remains same. Yeah. So we have a long history and long experience, which is almost more than six decades, you know, machine tool industry exists uh, in India and that ecosystem is already developed and uh, which can respond very promptly uh, and the customers will get uh, benefit uh, after the manufacturing facility once we start producing machines within 2024 they will have quicker delivery uh, so mostly the machines will be uh, on stock uh, i cannot touch upon uh, one of the hot topic right now what's happening is the anti-dumping duty yeah uh, maybe the industry never knew but i think means industry means the the general public, yeah. but the government was taking this matter for last two years. There were so many hearings done, and every stakeholders was involved in that. And after that, it was uh, uh, implemented. Uh, 
but I believe you know being a German, being a global uh, manufacturer, uh, this is actually not directly uh, uh, pertained uh, to the Trump because you have, as you told, that you have many plants in Europe, Americas, and also in China. But but how you think that it is going to have an impact in the Indian manufacturing system? Because some people say that now small scale industries cannot get an affordable uh, laser system. Well, uh, I'm looking from a different perspective. Uh, you know, this will support uh, manufacturing sector in India. Means what? Uh, most manufacturers will have uh, manufacturing in India, and that is way, that is the way we will contribute uh, to the nation's GDP. You know? Uh, government of India has a plan, has a goal to raise 25% uh, contribution of our GDP out of manufacturing sector. Uh, another important thing is, uh, you know, the quality is most important uh, uh, to recognize India as, uh, uh, you know, uh, for the export markets, particularly for the export markets. So that way also it will add a lot of value because we have that ecosystem, the talent which is available in India. So if we produce machines uh, in India, it does not mean that the quality will deteriorate, rather the quality will be at the same standard. At least we are so confident we will, we will produce and that's the first step for Trump. We will establish first the quality, quality first before price. So there is also some talks, you know, the anti dumping came and uh, Trump is now weak in India. But I, I, I've been to Germany, Germany do not take uh, decisions in one or two days. I think you, you have actually uh, spoke about this Make in India earlier. So uh, your plans of Make in India, I, I don't think so, but are you, uh, is anti dumping duty became... No, this has not been triggered because of uh, anti dumping investigation. This. Uh, uh, internal uh, the project which was going on since last couple of years yeah uh, anti-dumping actually started in 2022 almost a year back yeah uh, this investigation uh, of course I, I firmly believe that uh, government authorities they had the fair investigation and the results have come out uh, but we are not coming here in India and starting manufacturing because of anti-dumping, but this was the thought process which was going on. There was an internal project we had since last couple of years. And it's a strategic investment what Trump is doing it. And also, uh, we firmly believe that there is enough potential uh, in the Indian market. Uh, as I said, you know, the CAGR is going to be 50 to 20 percent, at least in the next five years, uh, which is phenomenal. Trump, there is no question about the quality. There is no question about the kind of uh, results it gives, but it is costly. See, the most important is, uh, see, cost is one parameter uh, when you put the mathematics on paper. Yeah, What is most important? Uh, value deliverables, cost efficiency, you know, return on investment, how you make the challenges. Because there are some challenges which are not known today. But Trump is equipped, I mean the technology is equipped to handle those challenges and that's our USP. And ultimately, who will benefit? The whole ecosystem will benefit. Even uh, I had this question sometimes, you know, why Trump is costly and I, then someone told me a story. In Switzerland, mm -hmm. there was a mountain okay. which was supposed to be cut and Trump did the work for the government yeah. and uh, they were telling that don't ask about the kind of uh, investment the government have done or the price the government have done for done, given to Trump we cannot think about that but I think that is something the research or the challenges what comes to Trump as you rightly said many things maybe people do not know but that that research may be we, we have always been step ahead uh, uh, research is most important it's at core of Trump philosophy uh, we have been investing 10% uh, of our annual revenue. Like last year, our revenue was 5.4 billion euros, and uh, our investment in R&D was around 500 uh, million euros. And this is quite a sizable investment, which we have been doing it not only last year, but last couple of decades. See, uh, now I'm I'm a person. I always I'm a very passionate person when it comes to India. I want the Indian manufacturing to grow. 
so many uh, European or uh, American or Japanese companies, you know, they come and because they know that India is the future. They many years they are here. Yeah. But when we compare the business, what happening in India, comparing to the global business, for those MNCs, the multinational companies, it is very less. So where Trump India stands in the global map of Trump? Uh, well, uh, we are uh, uh, little more than one uh, percent or around one percent. Yeah. Uh, but if I look at where Trump India will be in next seven to ten years, I think uh, we will double our contribution. And, and I must say, this uh, uh, doubling of this revenue in next seven to ten years, this is just because of trust of our customers, their trust in technology, their trust in our service, their trust in whatever value we have been adding in India, and also great support from uh, our associates. And employees have been pivotal throughout the journey, and they are the real heroes who have uh, really been, you know, uh, supporting business, supporting our customers. Uh, customer satisfaction is most important. See, if you have good product, good technology, it does not mean you are the best. You are the best when you have very satisfied customers. So, customer satisfaction is our priority for the group, not only for India. Group always uh, uh, had big hopes from India, which they they see now. Uh, but it's been more than 17 years. You know, group has been investing in India. Uh, you know, uh, uh, to build the necessary support infrastructure to support our customers, uh, the talent pool what we have. But now, you know, at that point of time, they had a vision where India will be, where Trump India will be and what kind of potential market has. So uh, that was the consideration uh, more than a decade back for the group. And uh, the last question to you yes, sir, please. Uh, skill, yeah. you have one of the most amazing products. But if, if people are not able to understand that technology properly, they will not be able to get the best out of the capex. So how we will be able to build a smart workforce who can also handle these smart machines? Well, I uh, I will I will answer in two different ways. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, you know this is also one of the challenge we had in past. So currently, the technology what we have, this technology is less dependent on operator or programmer. It is so easy to handle. So. Therefore, you don't need a very high skill, but as a fundamental, the skill development has been the challenge for the industry, particularly in the sheet metal. And companies like us, uh, we are working on different initiatives, uh, you know, to support and to develop uh, sort of uh, skill. Also, uh, one of our big customer uh, in India, we have uh, 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 initiative which in uh, probably next couple of months. We should be starting a sort of school. We also had a thought uh, uh, in last years to have from school, but of course that will also be, it's not firm uh, commitment to the market. But we are thinking in that direction also. But uh, the immediate one, uh, we might have uh, this initiative figured with one of our big customer to support industry, uh, and that way you know uh, the industry will have a lot of good operators, good programmers, uh, but for Trump, the technology itself will handle and that is how we have built the systems where uh, you will not, uh, you don't need rather uh, the high skilled operator or programmer and that is also one of our USP and uh, we want to reciprocate what trust customers had uh, in us uh, by having this technology which is less dependent on operator or programmer. It was it was great to hear you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Hari. Thanks a lot. Thank you.